Pyeongchang 2018, stories to watch, luge. The sport of luge got its Olympic start at Innsbruck 1964. Since that time, only five countries have ever won a gold medal in luge. That's 43 events total. More on that in a moment. So what are the events? At the games of 2018, you will see the men's and women's singles, doubles, as well as an event just added at the last Olympics, the team relay. Luge has the most medals among the three sliding sports. The luge track at Pyeongchang is the Olympic sliding center, and it will also be the venue for bobsleigh and skeleton during the Olympic Winter Games. The artificial track has been around since 2016 and features 16 turns. The men's course stretches more than 1,300 meters with an altitude drop of 117 meters. That's like leaping off of Big Ben or the Statue of Liberty. The women race a bit over 1,200 meters with 13 turns. Which movie character claimed he grew up taking luge lessons? The answer, later on Pyeongchang 2018, the stories to watch. No man has been more dominant sliding for singles titles recently than Felix Loch of Germany. Back-to-back -back gold medals at the last two Olympics have made Felix the unquestioned name to watch in 2018. In Vancouver, he became the youngest slider to win luge at an Olympics. Since then, no one has had greater success. That's really important to, 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 to win the medals. We have um, two or three young guys. I hope they will be, uh, they will be the next Felix. <laughs> If Felix Loch can manage another victory in 2018, he would equal the all-time Olympic mark of three consecutive gold medals held by the legendary German Georg Hackel, who went undefeated in the 1990s. No one would be happier for Felix than his father Norbert, coach of the team. It should come as no surprise that one of the top women to watch is from Germany. Natalie Geisenberger is a three-time Olympic medalist. She got her start in the sport at the age of 10. Her first games at 22 saw her earn the bronze medal. At the last Olympics, Natalie not only won the singles title, but the inaugural mixed team relay as well. It will be etched in history as the first double luge gold for women at one Olympics. Fifth all time in overall medals won is West Germany with 10 total. Fourth is longtime power Austria. In third sits Italy with seven gold medals. Then the big two, East Germany, and at the top, Germany, winning a whopping 36 medals. Tatjana Hufner of Germany is taking part in her fourth game. A soldier in the German army when she competed in her first Olympics in 2006, she put together runs good enough to earn the bronze medal. Four years later at Vancouver, the now 26-year-old Tatiana won the gold medal. And at Sochi, she turned in a steady silver performance. With a fourth medal in Pyeongchang, Tatiana would become the most decorated female loser in games history. Did you know that in 54 years of Olympic competition, only one person has won a singles medal who was not from Europe? Her name is Erin Hamlin, and the slider from the USA is returning in 2018, aiming to better her bronze medal performance from Sochi. A three-time Olympic veteran, can Hamlin find any advantage from her experience on the new track in Pyeongchang? Um, Sochi, for example, was also a new track, and by the time we got to race day, in my mind, I had really been able to pick apart the run, and, and every time I went down, even if I wasn't perfect, I had enough confidence in my ability the last two Olympics have seen the defending bronze medalist go on to win the gold medal. Can Hamlin repeat history and become the third straight champion? The most decorated loser in Olympic history, Armin Zogler, retired after 2014. He now coaches Italy's promising team and its star, Dominic Fischnaller. I non mi confronto volentieri con Dominic Fischnaller, anche in contrario. Lui ha guardato molto da me. Adesso io cercavo di avvicinare sul podio. Dominic debuted at the 2014 Olympics with a sixth place finish. 
His aim, of course, is to become Italy's first singles winner since Zogler. Dominic celebrates his 25th birthday on February 20th, the 12th day of the game. Maybe with the pressure off, he'll get a chance to watch a Bayern Munich match, his favorite football club. Doubles will once again see brother duos strive for an Olympic crown. Keep your eyes on Andres and Juris Sheiks from Latvia. These siblings have earned three medals in three games, which labels them as the most decorated Latvians ever in winter. But their bronze finishes in 2014 have them hungry for more. Can they topple the non-brother team from Germany, Tony Eigert and Sasha Benneken? By the way, the answer to which movie character revealed he had grown up taking luge lessons, it was none other than Dr. Evil. Finally, for people who want to see action at the Olympic Sliding Center, word is out about this new track. Starting on the 10th, you can catch the men's singles event. The next two days will crown the women's champion. On the 14th, all the doubles will take place, culminating with the new team relay on the night of the 15th. The Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang set to begin February 9th. Fill your knowledge tank by watching other episodes on Olympic Channel.